We in here. When I say in here, I mean in here, in a sphere of truth. Mm. Oof. Yo, we in here like lice. Let's, mm. Listen, we in, oh my God, we inherit, like inherit this. <laughs> I don't know what's going on right now, but I am. Yo, we inherit like dead relatives. <laughs> <laughs> These niggas ain't ready. You so I know what you're ready for. That nigga young pastry. This is the Jess Bizak channel, which is watermelon versus pumpkin. The podcast for you, the podcast for them, the podcast for the us, fight. you know. It's the podcast for all of us, guys. You know, you, them, us, togetherness. Unity. Come on, man. You are now listening or watching on YouTube. Thank all of you niggas for tuning in. All of you, because we appreciate y'all. This is episode uh, 33, and I am his, not your mm. co-host, mm. Lil Mattress, L-I-L-M-A-T-T-R-E-S-S on all social media, lilmattress.com. Man, hit up this hotline, 203-594-6977. As he said, as we said, this mm. is the Watermelon versus Pumpkin mm. podcast, the Great War. The great, what, what, what was it? What did Avengers have? Infinity Wars? Infinity, this Infinity, is the Infinity, Infinity War, War, dog. Yeah, nigga Thanos, nigga Thanos. I'm sorry, I don't know. I didn't even watch it yet. <laughs> I, I haven't seen it either. This is the Infinity War that, as I believe Puffy slash Sean Combs mm. said, can't stop, won't stop. Won't stop rocking with the... You know, what? We get down, baby. <laughs> we get down. Um, episode 33, man. Patrick Ewing. But first off, man, mm. we on this thing. If you're watching this on YouTube, mm. we appreciate it. You see the beautiful faces. If you're listening, you hear the beautiful voices. Wherever you listen mm. to a podcast... You can find us there as well, man. Mm-hmm. Episode 33, we doing the thing. We got a couple listeners, a couple people subscribed. I know mm-hmm. that because when we put up the episode, it's an instant download for some people, and uh, that's mm-hmm. very much appreciated that you want to rock with us and hear us when it happens. Mm-hmm. Join, um, the, join the fight. Watermelonversuspumpkin.com. That's watermelonvspumpkin.com. Man, if you want to support the merchandise, if you want to, uh, you can get a T-shirt. You can get a hat. You can get a bucket. Mm-hmm. You can get some socks. Some you can get socks. other things, man, if you want to mm-hmm. support us, how we're doing it. WVPshop.com. Mm-hmm. Com. You can find all the uh, watermelon versus pumpkin. And merchandise. maybe in the future we'll look into getting some uh, watermelon and pumpkin flavored condoms. I don't know you why. You never why. know. <laughs> pumpkin know. spice condoms. White women would lose it. <laughs> white women would go crazy. And hey, man, for the um, uh, uh, for the store as well, use code watermelon to get ten percent off your you purchase. Go. Man, we got the Space Force T-shirts up there. Space Force. Don't make me do it again. You know what it is. But yeah, man, episode thirty-three and. Uh, all I can think about right now, because I am sweating, because for some reason it's August 18th, 19th, uh, whatever it may August, be. Almost, uh, almost set. Almost still set. hot as fuck. We ain't doing good. We ain't doing good. Summertime <laughs> is still happening. So as I think about it, sweat, I think about 33. I think about episode 33. <laughs> I think about number 33. Ruiz, talk about him. From the tip-off, drenched <laughs> Patrick Ewing, baby. Patty sweating. Yo, my nigga, you. Me being a fan of the New York Knickerbockers, mm-hmm. uh, we don't go by the Knickerbockers anymore. I don't know why, but it's a cool ass name, the Knickerbockers. Because uh, it's too close, and you know it. <laughs> <laughs> because as soon as white people got comfortable saying that, they would be like, ooh, 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 hey, ooh, ooh. Drink, and if they're drunk, you got to see the Knickerbockers. Mm-hmm. What, what that niggas is saying? <laughs> exactly. Because you know there'd be people that try to slip it in. You know what I mean? And these Knickerbockers over here. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. I said, I said Knicker. Knicker. I said, <laughs> exactly. I said Knickerbockers. I didn't put the ER on it. Right. It's a G and a C. I said it with an A. Yeah, it's a CK, not a G. You guys are so off. Right. Uh, you know, but Pat Ewan was, uh, I feel bad for Pat in a little bit. He didn't get one, did he? No, he didn't get one, he man. Did, he didn't get man. one. He got a sneaker deal, which they're worth more now than they were when they first yep. came out. No, because I deals. think his sneaker deal was like, Kmart sneaker there, which of course, yeah. you know, he's balling, he's making a whole he, lot more than I did. But. Right. I had a pair, uh, and they mm-hmm. were, you know, they were something. They were affordable. Because who else had a pair? I don't even, Xavier McDaniels, if you remember him. Wow. Had a pair of X joints. Yep. He came out around the same time. He competed with, with Pat, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, you get them X joints, you get them Ewings. <laughs> the Ewings come with a sweat towel. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, You know, I, Pat, not everyone is like you. <laughs> no, no, no. Give them the towel. They're going to be sweating. Right. I, it might be. What's that condition? There's a con- hydrosis. Mm. The nigga probably got hydrosis. I'm going to put that on a limb. Pat. If you're listening, 203-594-6977. Hit us up, Pat. Let, Let us, us know, know if, if I was spot on with that. I'm Whenever, not, even to this day, when I see one of those commercials where they're just like, extra dry, I'm like, man, I wonder if he <laughs> uses it. Where they're like, um, 
what 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 strength do they clinical strength? Cool. You know what I'm right, like, right. yeah, Pat, that might have been Pat, you, brother. You're supposed to be a guinea pig for that. I it, it ain't, ain't jumping the plate. He ain't nah. jumping the plate. But one of the most beautiful high top fades there's ever high been. Top. He was the like, one of the best. That Knicks. was one of the things, and obviously I never had the hair for it. I didn't have hair for too long in my life. Bad I was blood. blessed with about 22 <laughs> years of hair experience, <laughs> and then uh, it was taken away. You know what I mean? It was taken away. It was taken Damn away. So, R.I.P. Rest in my follicles. Um, <laughs> I was always like um appreciative of how straight a flat top could be it's to where i'm like man is I that one. by hand it's when you just you have the steadiest hand and you gotta have a good barber this is true wow. because if they try to do too much you're gonna you're gonna fuck it up you gotta almost yeah. let the clippers you don't want to dip you don't want to speed bump you don't want to divot you don't, no, want, you don't want to yeah. crater you gotta let that shit just glide you know, and it, it looked like steady hand on it. Patrick Ewing went to a fucking samurai <laughs> and like every three weeks when it got to a certain length. And that dude right. was just like, hey, oh, hey, oh, right. uh, <laughs> and just chopped it off perfectly. <laughs> and man, I respected the I fuck out of it. I think it was hot dental floss. <laughs> 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 you, ever, you ever see him cut a big wheel of cheese? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 just like that. That fucking yeah. hard ass line just straight through the <laughs> top on a nigga. You I ever see him strangle top. someone in a gangster movie with a piano <laughs> wire? That's what it <laughs> Pat so, just kept so, ducking. Something like that. My shit was hard, hella hard. I, I had yeah. I had I had the I had the slope. That's what if y'all don't know out there, the slope was when it was uh, like a ramp a slope mm -hmm. from the back low. Kemp had a one, he had a little baby one. Yep, Sean yep. Kemp from the uh Seattle Sonics. Supersonics. But I had a I had a nice steep one, you know what I mean? It was like niggas would come with matchbox cars and fuck with me. Yo, look at here. Yo, get you get you make Corvette. You might watch this nigga. You know. Uh but Pat was that nigga, man. He was one of the best Knicks out there. Uh, yeah. he, he left it all on the floor. He just didn't get one, man. Man, and they had a strong ass team back in the day. Yeah, Yo, strong Nick. I don't even know where he is. I don't know if he's alive, but I would mm -hmm. not fight Anthony Mason ever to this day, <laughs> even with four of my best friends. I would never <laughs> fight Anthony Mason. Like, well, holy did he shit. pass away? God, man, I'm bugging. I'm, I'm not positive. Somebody, somebody did. I think Mason might have passed away from cancer. I think he did. Damn it, don't make me cry. Listen. I'm not going to do it. I know Oakley's still around because he's still fighting in arenas and shit. And <laughs> still right getting age. kicked out of fucking uh, yeah. um, casinos, Yeah, right? the ripe age. Yeah, ripe age of fucking 45 or whatever he is. Wow. Close to 50. Niggas in there still fighting. Like he on the court still. You yep. know, it's, that was the bad boys, man. We had man. our own little bad boys. You know, Knicks were a physical team, man. John That's Starks, why. Duncan Lefty you know, over. Come on. Come on. I, 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 my man had that poster. And all you Jordan niggas out there, relax. He got dunked on. It's okay. Yep. He's involved in the, He's involved in trying to block, nigga. You get dunked on. Exactly. A, exactly. You don't have to be positioned in front of him. That's their biggest fight. But he wasn't positioned <laughs> right in front of him. Like, was he trying to block the exactly. ball? I was going to say, <laughs> man, he was trying to guard him and got dunked on. Yeah, it happens. You three know what of them. It is. Three of niggas. Yep. You, you got rings, Mike. Shut up. Who cares? <laughs> Man, then eventually they uh, had uh, Larry Johnson was a my nigga. beast as well. Where my um, who else did the Knicks have, players. man? Because they had a strong-ass team. We had Starks. We had uh, Greg Anthony was a nice little point guard there. Mm -hmm. uh, we had Hubert Davis. Hubie. Hubie. Hubie Dave. Um, we had Char uh, Charles Smith, who was actually from Bridgeport, Connecticut. Home mm -hmm. for a nigga. Uh, he actually has a basketball camp back there. We had him over there, over there, over there. Over you know, there. Uh, see, we had a man who was, we had a, I mean, later on, you had your Latrell Sprewells, but at that era, mm -hmm. that was like your Ewing, your, your Mason, your Oakley, you know what I mean? That was, dude, and they were uh, power and small forward. Down. Like, so yeah. the center is Ewing, power forward was Oakley or Oakley. Mason, yep. and then small forward Mason. Jesus yeah, yeah. crap. And Mason was a big dude with handle. Yeah, man. He had that, he had an ass like my daddy, like that high ass, you know what I mean? But he was out there, you know what I mean? <laughs> He'll post up on you and his yeah, ass hitting your chest. Through the legs, through the back, nigga, just, yeah, I right, take that. Yeah, you know man. I mean? But so they 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 should have won at one point, but I guess it wasn't in the cards. Same yeah. thing with, you know, uh, the Jazz, when mm -hmm. you're just like, yo, all these iconic teams, you figure they should have won. Just could have got uh, one and just it wasn't in their playing. Another God, number, man. another number 33 <laughs> that did win. Talk man, about them. Larry Bird, Bird brother. The Bird man. Throw the guns in the bushes. Yo, shout out to Larry Bird's nose. <laughs> shout, and uh, it was funny because I heard something on talk radio the other day. Do you know how Larry Bird fucked up his back? I, I hope not picking something up. <laughs> Even worse than that. Man, because he was, you like, you know, from French Lake, Indiana. French country, Lake. You know, yeah, yeah. man. He was rich at this point, was a basketball player, all that stuff. 
you know, uh, his driveway needed to be paved. And instead of paying someone to pave his driveway, he did it himself. Mm. And, you know, just doing whatever you got to do with that. You, you've seen him with the yep. big, it's not a rake, but it's not right, a broom. Right. It's, it's, yeah, it's, whatever. It's, it's a leveler or something. He some fucked shit. up his back paving his own driveway. <laughs> Come on, Larry. <laughs> Come on, Larry. Come on, Larry. Larry, why, why you got to be like that, Daddy? Don't do that. That's when um, rich niggas go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, here you go, nigga. Coming guy. to Hulu this fall. <laughs> rich niggas go. No, they be coming to Sony Crackle. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, damn, bro. You got all this fucking money, and, and you go, yeah. you know, you want to be a regular nigga. It's when rich niggas want to be regular niggas, and you just yep. can't do it. You know what I mean? It's. Yeah, it's like listen, sometimes you, you can't. You're not any less of a man if you got the money and you pay someone to do it, man. Right. Larry, stand out there and talk to him while right. they do it. You I mean, I, I mean? can appreciate the drive. I'm like, of I want to do it myself, man. I don't want to pay anybody. I just want the thrill of of, of crafting with yeah. these hands. I'm a real man. I can still do it. Right. I can, you know, I work with my two. But man, he is, Larry. A, he is a farmer. He's a country boy. So yeah, yeah. He's used to working. So. But like, you don't have to do it like that, Larry. Yeah. How many did he get, though? He had about four rings, maybe? Somewhere Ooh. around there. I know he had a good amount because him and. Four. uh Magic would go back and forth a lot, Magic, you know. They were the, the in, uh, great rival of the Lakers. Celtics. Man, and that was back in the day. And I know that we've uh, spoken about similar topics before, but that was back in the day when you could actually be touched on a basketball court. Yeah. Oh yeah, you know Files what I mean. Were, nowadays, uh, nowadays you can't even, you know, pretend. The... Nowadays you can't even pretend to guard somebody. Right. Back then, you could catch an elbow to the side of the fucking head from Bill Lambier, <laughs> and that <laughs> shit was just okay. Yeah, you it's know? like shake it off, kid. There was no foul. Exactly. Like, what? Yeah, I mean. But Bird and them boys, uh, Bird had a sweet shot. Oh, you know he he was it looked your, uh, nice. Yeah, he was that that I don't know what's that stereotype of they say. It would be the white boy could shoot. He was that white boy mm -hmm. that could, and shoot. could shoot. Exactly, <laughs> shoot the lights out, corner get shot, two, and, man, shot. And he would get like his entire hand like flat back, and then yeah. he'd put that rotation I on it. I bet you fucking like high school coaches and shit put on tapes. You will watch a good shooter. Here's Bird. Here's right. Here's fundamental shooting. Nigga. Exactly. Watch Bird's form. And do this. Don't watch Sean Marion for niggas out there that know basketball. For Sean Marion probably has one of the ugliest shots I've ever mm -hmm. seen from a nigga. It's uh, Sam shot. Perkins Sam had Perkins. one of the ugliest Perkins fucking shots nigga. of all time. <laughs> Hell yeah. Manute Bowl had an ugly shot. He grabbed it from the back of the jersey. <laughs> <laughs> Just pulled it off the numbers, nigga. <laughs> Damn, Manute. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you you are the only person on the entire planet to say those two words back to back today. There's no chance. <laughs> when he was balling, maybe came out because his ass was kind of clumsy on the floor. Like, yeah, but who gets a goddamn rebound? But today, on August, whatever it is, 2018. Oh, God. Too on much. the planet Earth, you are the only person to say those two words back to back. No one else has said that today. There's no way. God, I mean, I, if you do know somebody, 203 594 6977. Let a nigga know. That that might be a t shirt right there. Just, damn, Manu. <laughs> He's like, who is that? Nigga, greatness. Is Seven that another way to say the N word? Is that what you're trying to say to me? No, 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 no. Damn, He's a basketball player. Basketball player. Man. Uh, number 33, Kareem, obviously had the sky hook. Woo! Was amazing. Was amazing. Wow. Um, and then one of the most, uh, because if you're standing next to the sun, mm. and even though you're on fire, fire. you're not going to shine as bright. Mm. And one of the most beautiful noses of all time, Dope. Scotty Pippen, the number Pippen. 33. Sharp. I'm about to sharp as Scotty nose. <laughs> sharp. Listen, Scotty Pippen. I feared his nose. Like, I, I, I like, I feared for it too. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, it's so, it's right there. And it's like, how did it not mm. catch an elbow? Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, and if it did, it's done. It's, it's, done. it's, it's like over. The beauty's gone. It's, yep. it's just, there's no other way his face fits any other nose. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Another beautiful flat top from him, man. He had a nice flat top Scotty as well. Had a, Scotty had a sharp one. You know what I mean? And he, he just had that real long faced kind of like sneaky, quiet assassin mm -hmm. look about him and shit. He was the Lloyd Banks of the Chicago Bulls. Right. Like he was just that <laughs> fucking smooth. You could right. tell that he talked slow and, yep. and not in a uh, way where he was right. mentally challenged. challenged. He was just smooth. Just he smooth was, talker. He probably yeah, yeah. banged your baby mother off a slice of pizza. Mm -hmm. Like that's it. Nigga just like he got her a slice and the drawers was there. Exactly. <laughs> like you know like, Scotty had a deep voice. That yeah, was like, it. hey, baby, just and he's six, what, eight. Like, yeah, you know. Mm -hmm. Just slice of pizza. You know oh, how moves. Scotty. You know how moves. <laughs> Scotty. <laughs> Scotty, you're so freaking dapper. But yeah, man, <laughs> Scotty was he could have been 
the Jordan on another team. You know what I mean? He could have been the leader of another team, but I'm sure he wasn't complaining being next to, uh, you know. Right, the man. You know what's crazy? Because they gave Scott, they gave a shit. Well, now when Mike retired the first time, they were like, oh, yeah, that's it. That's it. But Scotty brought them niggas to the NBA, you know, the game of the championship game before the finals. Yeah, They lost to the Knicks. (laughs) But uh, they got to that right there. You know what I mean? So he led them throughout the season still. So, you know, the formula was still there. Scotty was nice, man. So I think he's one of those players that will never get his just due because he was next to Michael Jordan. But uh, yeah. he might hit the Scottie Hall of Fame, though. though. I think little, he, I yeah, think he should. He should. Yeah, it yeah. might be a little later. Like a lot of those guys on that team are probably gonna do it. You know. Yeah, yeah. I just mean if he was on a different team, like how Charles Barkley was alone pretty much right. forever until he went to the Rockets. Come on, Kenny. And, <laughs> you know he was that like figure of that team. He was the uh, right. the, the headpiece. I think yep. Scotty could have been that for any other team, but. Yeah, like I said, standing next to Mikhail, what are you going to do? And then the, our last number 33 that Talk we have written him. down for today. Um, mm. Mm. I think we have, might have even talked about him last week or the episode before, but mm. once again, RIP to his ankles, Grant Hill. <laughs> Grant, Pat, and still had one of, sneaker. I was say, still had one of the dopest <laughs> sneakers of all time, man. Still had one of the dopest sneakers. The Fila! We did talk about him because I, I, yep. I, I seen him in person and I kept my cool. Yes. Without being a groupie ass nigga. That's GH. That's GH. That's GH. <laughs> we cool. We cool. We cool. Yeah, what up, G? I think I even said that. What up, G? All right. <laughs> How's that tuna tartare? All right. Peace, peace. I remain true. Why too? Because it's the same song. Listen, I still run around saying that shit. Like, every nigga back in the 90s when you was like uh, the conscious rap nigga or the conscious minded Negro, it's like, I got, I got, peace, peace. <laughs> Peace, peace. You say it twice, that means, twice. like, you know what I mean? You're a conscious nigga. Like, I've done this. I, I, fam, peace, peace. Peace, peace. You know what I mean? Automatically, like, yo, he's, like, serene. Like, I like him. <laughs> I understand him. He's down. He's, like, yo, I feel like he knows the struggle. Like, mm-hmm. just because he said peace twice. The struggle. <laughs> you know, so. Shout out to all the 33s out there, man. Yeah, man, 33 is a big number. A lot, you, lot of, uh, if lot you play of... football right now or any sport and your number's 33 and you're listening, then shout out to you. Mm-hmm. I remember back in the day when it was like, um, I was never, I never wanted 23, but, you know, uh, people always fought for, like, number 23 in whatever yeah. sport you were doing. That then the also one. 24 and 25 were big. Yep. And then, like, 33, and then pretty much after that, it was like, eh. eh. Well, I was on, I was a lineman, so we all were up in the 60s. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, I was number, number 60. I was number 60. 60. 60 I played six my out. couple couple years. I played, yeah, 6 Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. six. Oh. I can't think of, uh, you know, I can't think of a, a, a popular number 60, because linemen don't get just, nigga. It's like, we don't know linemen's names, nigga. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, let's go into the magical transition of Larry mm. Bird was mm. on the Boston Celtics, they Talk wear the number them. green. We mm. live in New Haven, mm. which has a green. green. Somebody was passing out green. Mm. And on the green, green. people Talk were turning these niggas. green. <laughs> OJ! <Okay. laughs> and I'm green with envy to not know what the fuck's going on. Listen. Woo. Tell them. There was a recorded number. This shit was national news now, y'all. Mm. This is real, real quick, by chance, if we haven't said it before, which I think we have said it before, we are uh, broadcasting from New Haven, Connecticut. New Haven, Connecticut. So we are in the home. NHCT. We are in the hub of where this national news of mm. 100 recorded, 100 overdose Hundo. cases, nigga. A bell. K2 shit. That's mm. that. If you I don't know that K two is that synthetic weed shit that I think you can buy in your local Seven Eleven or some shit. I think it's at like pretty much every right. hood gas station right. that there you ever could be. Get it there, and guys take it and they put shit in it. I guess these ones had uh, they're saying high number of fentanyl niggas laced it. Now these cats, that's those, the stuff that takes people out. Yeah, there was two cats that they have right now suspects. Uh, mm. A 53-year-old and a 37-year-old suspect with a gun. Uh, one of the 37-year-old looks 53. And the 53-year-old looks 75. <laughs> so they're fucked up, obviously. Yeah, yep. You know what I mean? But uh, they're getting hit with the... Because what I was what I was told or what I read is they were giving the shit out for free. Woo, so free samples. Niggas was trick-or-treating without mm. masks. Or maybe it wasn't masks. <laughs> right? I, I, yeah, obviously they weren't masked up because uh, that's the other thing. They got snitched on by a whole bunch of people that got oh. sick from it, which... Oh, yeah. Especially you when know, it was that man that got sick. Yo, that yeah, is yeah. Food, food. It was Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> it was Bruce. Bruce is definitely Bruce. passing it out. Yeah. No, nah, it was definitely a nigga named T.Y. or something. T.Y.? I, I forgot. I forgot his, there was two. There were brothers. Two brothers, man. Wow. Watermelon, we took a hit on that one. 
But you know, Man. niggas selling some shit out there that's laced. There. I mean, we do shit like that. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But even that—that's the wild thing to where I wonder what they were going for. Where, if it was like, um, it was this is the first thing I've done. You know, was never an addict for anything, but I've done mm. my fair share of experimenting. Yep, you know, yep. with uh, marijuana and different things. But it just as a. And I understand that it could have been people that were in a worse spot than I've ever been in my life. Because the green, if by chance you don't know, that's where uh, a good amount of homeless people will sleep right. at night. Now this is in the this is in the hub of Yale University. This world is the, in the center, right? You know, this but, is um, the biggest Ivy League school. That's one of the wild world. things about New Haven is it is such a mixture of Yale, prestigious right. millionaire and billionaire kids right. are going there, right. and then two streets over. You it's, got, uh, it's you know, what's the hood. thing on the back of your uh, sweatshirt? <laughs> that hood is right there. Straight hood, But yeah. like I was saying, even for, obviously I've never been down and out like that, but it's the whole when you grow up, don't take candy from strangers. Like, man, if somebody's passing out fucking drugs. Right. Yeah, yeah. There's something to even think about. Like, why, why are you giving me this? Unless they were trying to, like, we're going to give you free sample and then... Come buy it from me now. It's gonna be so good. You're gonna want to buy yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. That was the biggest promo deal he had. Like we're gonna get this shit for free, and then they gonna come back to us. They didn't come back because they almost didn't come back. I, I don't think anybody died though. Yeah, I don't think anybody died, no. but uh, I definitely know it was like a Walking Dead situation right. where it was just yeah. the the green was full. Was I mean, because you say a hundred people, people yeah, locked, the laid green out was everywhere. full of just yeah, yeah, a lot of people knocked out, and laid it's the, out. It's some shit they give them when they're overdosing. That's like almost like the fucking needle in a heart from Pulp Fiction, and they pop up. Uh, what the fuck is the name of it? It's not is it Narcan stuff. Yeah, Narcan. Is it for that? Yeah, okay. They were giving cats Narcan left and right. Wow. Yeah. So they were they was blinking and twinking, man. Yeah. So, you know. They, they but yeah, that out. that was a weird thing to me is I was surprised that that many people accepted free drugs. Which is just <sighs> like, me. Because when you when you down and out, it looks like yeah, well, I'll take it. You know. Yeah. Give a motherfucker a half eaten sandwich. He hungry enough. He gonna take it. You know? Right. It's like you probably got bumps and shit coming off your lips. You're like, fuck it, I'm gonna eat it. Exactly. I'll pull off the part where you chew that. And then I wonder too because. Did, did they say how they passed it out? Uh, that, then I wonder, is like, yo, were, were they just down there like passing out joints or some shit like well, that? Well, I, I know, I know the flow down there. Uh, they probably just giving out bags. I didn't, I didn't see how they just because yeah. they're being investigated. And it, shit. The only reason I was bringing that up because I'm like, and obviously it's not hard to find something to smoke out of. You can do it out of a can, out of a wood, whatever. Right, All you right. need is really a lighter, but. Right. It was for that to happen, then for that many people to smoke it there, right? Then for that many, I was like, <laughs> did your niggas have a biggest session ever? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So was it like they just passed out joints and fucking right? You know, because it doesn't have up. that. It doesn't have that weird. You know, don't, it don't have that weed smell or nothing. So it's not they because they roll up at the bus stop or something right, and just smoke right there. Yeah, yeah. Because also right there on the green is the hub for um for the buses. Mm -hmm. And what a fun fact is um. Majority of them niggas that it happened to them. Majority of people that, that are all fucked up hanging out in the green all day, they're not from New Haven. Yeah. Shame on them. They make uh, the city that's not doing the greatest reputation wise look even worse. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And, and it's like these guys are coming from very big suburban neighborhoods. And the reason why they do that is because fucking New Haven has so much resources. Mm -hmm. for the, there's like, there's so many uh, methadone clinics. Uh, oh, programs. Yeah. There's so many uh, ways they can get money for like you know food stamps and shit like that. There's so many things they can get here. So they catch these buses from way the fuck out where, and they come, and then they meet everybody else is down and out in the green, and they you know yep. give get that little community going right. You know, and then they just jump on the bus and go back home. You know, and then I wonder too, was it like you were saying? Was it perhaps a hey man, we're giving out free samples, and then they'll come back and buy it because right. they're gonna think yo this shit is crazy, or was it? Hey man, you just want to go down the green and give hundred people. Yeah. You know what I mean? Hey, 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 we got K two, K two. Yeah, like, and it's like, and this is not the first time for this shit. You know, yeah, like yeah. K two has been the, that. No, I mean, like they, they probably didn't say it was K two, but I'm saying, was it just two people mm. that were just like, hey, let's just go and give a bunch of drugs to right. homeless people and, and kind of like they, watch? Because you know, probably, fucked up people like right. to watch fucked up shit. Right? Yeah, you never know if they had that sick mind going, but yeah. they probably had a little crew. They just the only two niggas that got caught. And yeah, that's true. That's true. Shut. You know, they probably had a little crew. Like, the, there's like, there's a crew. There was a crew that was down there at one point. That was the Lucy crew, and these guys were, you know, I got, I don't know where they, they were getting curtains for somewhere from cheap. Yeah, yeah. And then they would have backpacks. There was a group of them. They walk around and split up and hit the bus stops. Lucy's, Lucy's. You know what I mean? Now they're selling Lucy's. You know, you know they go through fucking a couple curtains and they chip in together. You know, they're coming off fucking a hundred something, two hundred dollars yeah, a yeah. day just selling Lucy's at the bus stop. And, and hey, you know, man, the well green. that's the thing too. Like if people. Um, if they got the hustle in them, man, if you take a fucking 12-hour, maybe not even that far south, mm. 
bro, they got cartons for fucking forty bucks. When up here, cartons are one hundred and eighty right. bucks. And probably, that's, and that's probably what them cats was doing. It was they got a Virginia connect or some yeah, shit. Yeah. You know, that's probably the farthest you'd have to go would be like Pennsylvania, Virginia. And then you to know. break them down into Lucy's, you're you're making some dough. Yeah, they they, they, they kill it out there. But Man, I, I, I remember the one near uh, where I used to live on uh, Munson. Mm. Months. Out there, man, they, they were three for a dollar, which was amazing at the yeah, time. Yeah, because this 50 And then cent. I remember sometimes they would knock it down to fucking two for a dollar, and everybody, like, literally everyone in the store would be right. aggravated and say, like, yo, yesterday it was, and you know, they're just stoic Indian right. dudes. They don't right. give a fuck. They're like, yeah. yep, two for a dollar, two, two dollar. for a dollar. Two it's, for it's, dollar. It's, it's my friend. And then I, I love it when uh, you go in there, you bitch about things with them, and they, and they start saying, my friend, and they start coming up with all these excuses. This is where I go. I can't make money this way. I have to yep. feed my family. And I was like, get the fuck out of here. You're raping us. Yeah. But they know. And I was just in a corner, corner store the other day getting a, sand, a sandwich. You know, I'm going to say it that way. Um, and um, I was getting a sandwich. And a guy was in there breaking his balls. He's like, man, you trying to give me this paper towel roll for $3. And I can go to the grocery store and get the same one, a better brand, for $1.50. You know? Yeah. Like, what the fuck you trying to do? He said, but he said, no, nah, he said, I ain't mad at you. I know what you're doing. He, he, he said, you know what time it is. People are in this neighborhood. More than likely, they're not able to get around. You know what I mean? You can't mm. get out to the grocery store, so you're gonna have to eventually go there. You know, like, oh, yep. fuck, I'm gonna have to take the hit and go drop yeah, yeah. four dollars on this paper towel because I need it for the house. It's that I, convenience level right. of like, yeah, you you're not you, trying to hop on the bus right. all and, the way downtown. And you got to know too, on the same sense of you know, defending a little bit for them niggas, it's like they not getting wholesale price. You know exactly. What I mean? like, yeah, he's yeah. Pay, he's paying an arm and leg, and the only way for him to make money off the shit is he's got to give you that price. Yep. They're trying to make money just like everybody yeah, else. So, you know. Yo, so I think what uh, we're trying to say <laughs> is like the deep thinkers of our generation would say, <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it Pretty is. Pretty much. It is what but it is. But you know what, uh, real quick with that, K2, what, what, what uh, amazes me, leaves me in awe, is that it's not the first time like these reports happen with K2 and niggas yeah, overdosing yeah. and like, and a nigga tells you he got K2, you're like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Think of it like, yo, niggas That's just what, dropping. In my <laughs> head, I'm hoping that they weren't uh, putting it like that. Like, I, right. I in, in my head, how I'm trying me. to see it is like, they just went down there like, yo, man, we got free samples, free samples, free samples, something mm. like that. That they weren't like, K2, who's trying to get fucking, Yo, we got you know that I mean? fentanyl laced. We got that fentanyl laced. Yeah, see, that's the other thing, yeah. too. Yeah, you're saying that fentanyl. So then I'm like, ah, maybe they just mixed the batch at home. Right. We're like, yo, we'll, we'll pass out these free samples. These dudes are gonna think that's crazy because, yo, that was the best high of my life, and then, right. could, and yeah. Now, where guys, where do, where do cats get their hands on that? And like fentanyl and shit. Shh, I have no clue, man. Because then, like some shit you only that. get through like pharmacies and shit. I don't, I don't know. know. I mean, because, but that that's the type of stuff where they. You see the light flicker? Flicker. You see the flicker. Flicker. Um, <laughs> but that's the type of stuff that they um. When they show you, like, all right, to overdose on cocaine, you need this much. They have them in, like, the vials and stuff. I've yep. seen the reports. Like, to overdose on cocaine, you need this much. To overdose on uh, whatever, you need on something else. There's mm. They give you, like, there's the coke. There's amount of a different amount. But then fentanyl, to overdose on fentanyl, it's, like, a couple of grains of sugar. Like, it's oh, one wow. of those ridiculous, like, so you don't need much. why somebody trying to put that shit in there? That's crazy. Man, because I guess fentanyl is the one, you know, people... It's, you know, w w whatever drugs that people like to do, yep. you know, whatever hits them correctly, that's the one that they, they crave. And they I guess crave, for yeah. certain people, it's fentanyl. That's what that rapper that died, uh, Lil, maybe Peep, one of them. Okay. I'm not sure. but right. um, one of those. Because I guess they mix the fentanyl when people make fake uh, Xanax. Okay. People make fake Xanax and they'll put it fentanyl Lil Zan, in some right? of them. Lil Zan, No, so no, he's still alive. <laughs> um, I think he's a little, little, little Turk or some shit. I, I think there was one called because Lil Pump, I think, is still alive. Lil, Lil Pump. Peep is dead. Lil Peep. That might I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not I'm not into this <laughs> rapper stuff. But <laughs> to be Lil's. But but they were saying he died from the fentanyl because somebody gave him um Xanax. That okay. wasn't really Xanax. It was, you know, somebody made it because dude, you can go online and buy a fucking pill maker. Mm. Like, yeah, that's like for, for me, I make my own coconut oil mixed with marijuana pills. Like, right. and you can make the shits online and they also got it for the dry stuff like you can make them man and yep. so people do that and then they sell them and you never know what you're getting yeah you know so the moral of the story is be smart niggas mm. <laughs> and don't unless you know the goddamn person don't right. not that anyone that who would have done that on the green is ever listening to our podcast but <laughs> man you got to be smart like if somebody's offering you free drugs that you don't know Something's wrong 
Yeah. And that, I know and that, that goes I'm a to show like that because, and that, that happens too. Like, what, it almost makes sense when you got guys that have no kind of street sense, you know what I mean? Yeah. They might come from Greenwich or some shit, you know what I mean? Yep. He knows nothing, and his honesty level is so high. Like, it's all right. Are you, are you trying to kill me? I was... <laughs> Jamal, I thought we were friends. Come no, on. No, no, no. But, nigga. hey, man, I'll tell you, out of some of those people, you know that there's a couple of those motherfuckers that are like, I'm trying to do that again. Yeah, right. Like, you know there's, a, there's a couple, That's man. The shit. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you know that there's a couple out there that are just like... There was a feeling they got before that overdose happened yep. and they want to capture if again. It, if I just take maybe take one hit next time instead of... T- right. <sighs> I'll get that first feeling back and not the end result. Yeah. <laughs> Where I almost died. If I could get the first initial feeling, which most, you know, even like crackheads and shit, they all chase that first high because it's a mind-blowing thing. Like, oh my God, I need that. I guess, yeah. You know, that there's, seems to be the uh, people that the have hook. Certain, certain things. So New Haven, we not safe. <laughs> but I love y'all. Niggas, Hashtag man. we not safe. I love my. And team. hey, if you have a um, maybe a guess as to what was in whatever it was, hit us up on this hotline. Call or text two zero three five nine four six nine seven seven. We might put a t shirt up of you know don't take free drugs on right. uh, WVP shop Just dot say com, no to man. free drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Get away from me and my family. Wow. Might be there, guys. The cross right there. Up, down, left, right. The cross. Father, son, Holy Spirit. Just say no to free drugs. That's amazing. But like we said, man, hit this hotline, 203-594-6977. Call or text. Let us know what the brook is up, man. The niggas is dropping. And speaking of people dropping, uh, rest in peace. Mm. So the one, the only, Rita Franklin. I had to say it like that's that. how they announced when she would play shows in Mexico. <laughs> ah, Rita <laughs> Franklin, come and do this day tonight. Ah, Rita. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who do we do? I thought Selena well, we was coming on. Put some R E S P C T on this. R E S P S I T. I just did that shit in Spanish. Oh, I wish I had the little Moroccans that find out what it means to me. Oh, man. But she looked older than she was when she died, man. Yes. Because she had pancreatic cancer. It was her down. But, poof. She had a hell of a career, though. Yeah, man. Rita came out the gate when she was uh, 14? Around there. Yeah. At least. And you know what? A uh, little fact I didn't know that somebody put me on to. She had her first fucking kid at 12 years old. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know. I think the guy that was a father was a lot older. It's one of those yeah, kind of yeah. like niggas got away with shit like that in the 50s. Yeah, yeah. That happened back you, you in the 50s. I mean? yep. Yeah. It's like, oof. You know, and her being um, not only an African American woman, uh, no, African American and African American woman, and just a woman, and just at that time, and then being in the yeah, industry yeah. is like, oh, you know, she had a lot of stories of these niggas ain't yep. shit, none exactly. of them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Fucking with her, and mm-hmm. not only are you a woman, you don't know shit. Are you a black woman too? Get the fuck out of my face. Yep. What do you know about the showbiz in the fifties? You know? Mm-hmm. No, man, I'm sure that she probably signed some shitty contracts back in the day and mm-hmm. all that stuff. Like, have you ever seen the movie? Uh, what's the one? Beyonce was in, but it was actually good. It was um, it was about Motown, but it wasn't. Oh, I don't know that when they were all was that like a it was this it was a, like a sing um, it was like a sing along joint, right? No, no, not not that one. Oh, but okay. uh, there was a different one. I forget right. what it is. I'm I sorry. This the one that was a absolutely sing. horrible podcasting right now. <laughs> but um, you niggas look it up. We want you yeah. guys to figure it out. There's a couple of back in the day of when it was like um, you know, and they would show the uh, who sang at last. At oh, last, yeah, yeah, yeah. Love. Oh, God, no. I forget the name. Forget the name, but it's well, whoever there. was that, uh, Beyonce played her. But okay. they, there, it was a bunch of stories about how you know they would have the black artists do everything. Oh man, and just sign away all your rights to everything, and then they would you know give them a nice cat- Cadillac right. Records. That's Cadillac. It, might, there you it was go. something like that. Yep, but yep, yep. Then they pull up with the Cadillac and give them that. Hey man, you doing great? Here's this. Right. Then when they eventually ask them for money, it was like. Well, how much do you think that Cadillac cost? That's what we gave you, you know? Right, and it right. was just oh, the, the, that, the that wasn't bullshit. a gift, that was a payment. <laughs> exactly. Just the bullshit that people mm. went through. And uh man, like you said, you can't even imagine back in the day. Cause like right. nowadays, people are bitching about, oh man, and I'm not getting as much money as I should. Right. And I'm not like Nicki well, Minaj right Nicki now Minaj. bitching about Oof, oh Nicki. my god, I only have the number two album in the country. And it's like Nikki, Nikki, Nikki. You know how hard Aretha probably had to fight to get Right. All right, you gave me half of my money up front. I just did the show. Right. 
Oh, well, sorry, we don't have the money for you right now. Sorry, beat right. it next town, you know? Well, Nicki Minaj feels like she, you know, or well, I'm at the top watching the beats, like, well, you know, you can't come in first all the time. Yeah. So stop that baby shit and know you didn't come in one. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? It's like, shit, you gotta, you, you're fucking, uh, Takashi threw your fucking alley oop with that fucking, that record that went through right? the roof. You get a nice little fucking, uh, uh, you know, Incentive right there. What the, you know what I mean? Like, come on, cut it out. That that motherfucker brings views. Uh, mm-hmm. What you say? That that video I look it up right now is probably almost 200, 300 million views. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, I uh, I follow Takashi on Instagram, and my name on Instagram is Lil Mattress. L L M A T T R. Um, bro, there was a video that he took of himself taking a piss like on a garage door. Over two million views. Like <laughs> this the dude's the, on fire yeah, right now. No, like the could, dude is on he, fucking fire. He can crumple up a piece of paper, throw it on the ground. Like I did that. Why I did that? And like oh, exactly. oh Dakashi is that nigga. Why he did that? It's yep. It just you know once you're on that, he's and he's riding his wave the way he should be. You know what I mean? Exactly. He's like it might not last, but he's facing some shit too that he might get some definite. Um, yeah, man. Young young lady uh, charge. He's getting young loving. With. Yeah. So uh, he said, and you know what? I'm inclined to believe him because. Like I've said, especially with some Spanish women, mm. I don't know if that's the grandmother <laughs> or the granddaughter. I don't know. You know what I mean? Because they, they don't age right. like that, man. They're right. beautiful. Um, but, yeah, I guess he co- got caught up. He was 17. She was 13, something 14, like that. yeah. Yeah, yeah 13, 14, yep. something like that. And uh, you know, that and sucks, then, then at that time, it's like, who knows? You know, a lot of young ladies at that age, especially at that age, they're going to lie. Yeah, because they want to, you know, if they want to be older, they want to be yep. perceived older. You know, you talk to any a lady, you know, they always like, oh, I like the older guy. I like the older guy. You know, that's the young woman flow. You know what I mean? Craving that father figure, right? You know, it's like just like shit. I mean, I had a crush on a babysitter too. You know, what I mean? right? <laughs> like, oh, shit, she coming over again? You know, like, I still remember the first crush that I ever had was on uh, one of my mom's friends that mm. babysat us, and um, she was giving us a ride home, and I had a old. Um, Hershey Kiss T-shirt. Okay, that, it, was a, it was a Hershey Kiss, <laughs> and on it it said something about giving me a kiss. Right, like right. it said something about like, I, I don't know give how me to a put kiss it, but it was yeah, 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 it was yeah, like yeah. please give me a kiss, <laughs> and she kissed me on the cheek. And I was like five or six years old, and I became a man that day. Right. Like, I didn't know what happened. I didn't know oh, why man. I liked her so much. It just like it clicked right there, where I was just like. Oh my God! I just became a man. Oh man, that's when that shit. When you know they do those memes with the with the uh, with the thug shit comes out. La da 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 da. Exactly. <laughs> like the, the sunglasses popped down yeah. on me. And I was like, Oh my God! Her it's name was fucking... Vivian, and I will never forget oh, that man. for the rest. And like I said, I was like five years yeah. old, but she kissed me on the cheek, and I was like, Oh my God! Yeah, this my... this is it. This is what it's about. This is what it is. Why am I pitching a tent? I'm pitching yep. a tent. <laughs> exactly. My mother told me about the crush I had on a couple of babysitters. I I was like, oh, I did. Like I was doing some weird shit when I was younger. I was pants rubbing, and yeah, I was doing some things. The and PR. I, yeah, and it's funny because I look at it now. It's like, man, the young lady who was doing that with me, and she kind of initiated because I was a shy little nigga. But yeah, yeah. she initiated a lot of it. So now I look at it now as an adult. Like we were fucking around. I don't know. We were five, six, yeah, yeah, four, yeah. or some. You know. And I go, man. I look at it now as an adult. Like, yo, she was something was wrong. She was being touched. Like yeah, something. Yeah. something so, you know, what I mean? she, the little girl was probably being. Touched at home or something, man, and it wasn't no, it wasn't a normal thing. I look yeah, at it now, yeah. like if my daughter's doing that shit now, then there's something that's happened. That's why she's doing that. Right, right. You know what I mean? Something happened to her, so I, I feel bad for that. I don't know her name, but uh, you know, I didn't. I was young. We were young. I was just like, you know, I put my pants down, let my little white BBDs rub up on her, and like, well, what are we doing right now? Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I don't know exactly. I don't know. Just go with it. You, she's she's. What did my mommy do? So, yeah. It was a terrible, terrible situation. So what we're trying to say is R.I.P. <laughs> Aretha Franklin, because that's where that R.E.S.B.C.T. came well, from. Oof, that's what we're really trying to say. Right. She you had know? a long career, a lovely long career, and uh, let her songs touch your soul, fellas. Oh, yeah. I'm ladies. sure her Spotify, you know, plays yeah. are out of control right now, man. Playlists and, uh, are on fire right now with Aretha. Every and, generation, you know? That's one thing you got to respect, too, man. That's back in the day where there's no cutting in there's no auto tune that right. was her actual voice yeah you know? oh yeah they they gave it to you when you heard that shit and then they gave it live it's like I'm, i closed my eyes and the record's on yeah yeah <laughs> you know what i mean the record is on and know? she sang i know for a bunch of presidents at the white house all mm-hmm. that stuff she was uh yeah national she did, she did a good, amount of, good amount of those so man aretha may you uh family be blessed in with with a uh, good fortune well I, they do you gave them a lot of money i'm sure 
<laughs> right, right. I'm sure you were the you know breadwinner and supporter yeah, for so yeah. fucking long, breaking that down, distributing. But now when I saw the picture of her, like at, like recently, and I was like, that's not Aretha. Well, that's because Fox News had put up a picture that wasn't Aretha. Oh, oh shit! Yeah, <laughs> remember, remember. <laughs> Shout out to Fox <laughs> News, who uh, thought Patti LaBelle was Aretha. That's right? what they do. So and here she's Aretha. selling sweet potato pies at Walmart, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> Which are pretty fucking good. Yeah. I had one of them. Yeah, thinking, man. They're not bad. Damn, yo, man. Those sweet potato pies. Look. Patty, Patty. Right. She, Patty put on a lot of weight, too. So, you know, she's mm. got to be making sweet potato pies. You just doing that home cooking. But yeah, I think Aretha, like you were saying, she was real small. Yeah, she was right? small, man. But she looked a lot older than 74. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? And that's, you know, chemo and shit. You know, all that shit. Uh, yeah. Put you down, put you down. I kind of hope I get hit by buses instead of going through that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I hear I've that, seen that, it, man. The cancer gets you slow, you know? I've often thought about that where I was just like, man, that long, drawn out shit to where. I feel like you never want to be in a position where, like, you can't kill yourself if you right, wanted to. Right. Like, you don't want to get to that place. So old, like, a nigga can't even get a knife up to his neck. It's like, <laughs> exactly. I, I can't, nigga. I'm trying, though. You or, know? like, can't get your hands on enough pills to just take right, them and right. fucking go in a numb state or something like that. But Yeah, it's just a, that's a tough situation, man. Mm-hmm. So, uh, that's that shit that you think about when uh, sometimes... I'm not going to say you, I'm going to say me, mm. get, you know, you take that maybe one hit too many and then you try to go to sleep. And you're like, oh, I'm going to die one day. Let me think about that for the next fucking 45 <laughs> minutes while I try to sleep. <laughs> that's some good shit. And then it's the stare at the ceiling move. Like, yep. oh man, that's going to happen. Mm -hmm. And what's going to happen after? I don't know. I'll yep. find out when I get there uh, or they will be here. Maybe I'll be here. I don't know, nigga. <laughs> Bars. And then I'll you think about like, well, and then you never know when death is going to come. So shit, I hope it's not tomorrow. Let me try to go to sleep. I said, I hope it's not tomorrow that I don't fucking die. And I'm you know what I mean? Like, Somebody's listen. <laughs> uh, Whoever's got the fucking button to push on my ass, nigga. Just give me a minute here. Go on break. Go on break. <laughs> go on break. Give me a 15 minutes. Give a nigga a minute. I got some, I got some living to do. Don't fuck around. Let me get to this Eagles game. Right? Exactly. <laughs> Which is going down next week, folks. Oh, yeah. The uh, preseason 30th, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Man, that's gonna be a good August time. 30th. City of brotherly love. Here we come, nigga. Philadelphia Eagles versus the New York Jets. Haven't been the Eagles have haven't been great in the preseason so yeah. far, huh? Oh, two. We but, got, but yeah, you know we got what? No quarterback. Yeah, it either. don't matter. It don't matter. Don't matter. It is preseason, man. We don't got our we got our, you know our starting quarterbacks not in there. Yep. That's your general. Uh, you, you got the third string guys, second string guys blowing games. It's it's it's. This guys that can go every time I come around, you'll say they third string. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> this guys that can go over four. I seen in the fucking preseason and, and come through and molly whop everybody. Oh yeah, just, yeah. You know so. Well, because I mean, even too, I think the brother was on the Patriots. There was somebody. I mean, we we were talking before about like it always happens in the preseason to somebody. Boom, out for the fucking year. Out for I the think year. it was somebody on the uh, Patriots with yep. uh, the Achilles, Achilles always, man. Yep. And it's like, and then you got a guy that's. He's just doing a couple reps. I could foresee probably in somewhere in the future that you might not get any fucking guys playing that much in the uh, starters playing in the preseason. preseason. Yeah, they might take a snap or two, and then that's yep. it. You know, I, I mean, because that's the thing too. Like, listen, there's times where you know in practice they go full bore. So you, I mean, yeah, there's nothing like an actual game. There's nothing right. like the, no matter how many times you shoot a target, ball. you're not necessarily yeah. in war. But yeah, your it's teammates like, not gonna rip your head off. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Well, so you might. <laughs> it's uh, I mean, hey, depending on if they're going for that position, you know. Right. It, but but no, I feel you. It's tough to where it's not the real gameplay. But then yeah, there's well, the these, risk versus reward. Of, right, do you want right. to risk? It's not the real gameplay. But these is, these guys made it to the pro. These are real professionals, man. Exactly. There's yeah, gonna yeah. be some hits. There's gonna be some fucking bombs. There's gonna be some. I look forward mm -hmm. to it. my first NFL game going to. So yeah, man. And I think we're gonna be at the best one possible because these are the guys that are going for those last spots right. on the uh, roster. Yep, so yep. I, mean, I don't think it's going to be nobody pretty playing good around. Too. Week three is the starters play for longer. Yep, yep. They play up until like almost going into the third quarter. Okay. They play a whole first half. Yeah, yeah. You'll yeah. get like a whole first half out of your first strings, which is, you know, that's a good move. But, you know, these guys know, too, those are tickets a little more expensive. You know, they don't mm. know what they're doing. Like, you, you know you're going to see the starters, right? You know you're going to yeah, see the yeah. starters. Oh, you want to pay, nigga. But the Jets got a. I'm I'm looking forward to seeing their rookie, Darno. He's like one of the. He was like number two overall. Oh wow! The quarterback and uh, he's fighting against um, who's their other quarterback? He's going against uh, Teddy Bridgewater. 
TB. I, I just kind of love that nigga name. TB Dub. So Bridgewater. Uh, I like it. They're kind of going back and forth on trying to get that starter. So they're going to get some reps. Nice. Bridgewater was an all-star when he played in Minnesota before yep, yep. he got bumped out after an injury. Man, that's what my uh, my father's a Jets fan. And, uh, you know, so you can tell he's been through it. He's been yeah, through the, the strain. And um, that's one thing they've always been missing. Like, who's the cat that's now playing baseball? The Virgin. Uh, they had him for a year. Fucking. Who had him? The Jets? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He playing baseball now? Yeah, yeah. The, the, <laughs> he's the virgin. That oh, oh, no, not my man that played with the Eagles. You mean Tebow? Yeah, yeah, Tebow yeah. yeah, yeah. Tebow, Jets. Tebow. He was with the Jets, then he went to the man, Eagles. Yeah, yep. And it was like they had the chance to do something good, and literally they would, because I, w- I went to uh, one of the games I saw him play, mm. they would put him in for a run up the middle, and then they would take him out. And then yep. like 12 plays later, they would put him in. Or run up the middle, then take him out. It was right. like trying that college shit. Do something. Right, huh? right. He's actually doing pretty decent in uh That's what I heard. Minor league ball. That's he's what I heard. The Mets. He's hitting some dingers. Yeah, my <laughs> Mets team. Uh he's in the farm league. So they call those farm leagues. Yeah. Uh he's doing some things, trying to get his way up back into the pros, get that paycheck. Yeah, man. The niggas only affording uh uh you know Shake Shack right now. So he's trying to get up to that Michael Jordan restaurant. Right. And, and they said that he's good, man. He's hitting uh this guy, he's laying, he's putting, he's putting, he's putting a little wood down. You know what I mean? Laying a little leather. I don't, I don't know a lot of baseball terms. <laughs> yeah, me either. <laughs> well, I, like I do. The, the only I baseball, baseball, a little baseball bit, term I do know is that, uh, you know, hey, say you're zero for three when you go up. You know what you're gonna hear. <laughs> He's due. He's due. He's due. That's what you're gonna hear, he's and that's what you're gonna know. He's due, guys. He's Back due. up. Swing batter batter. You know, a lot of superstitious. Baseball is probably the one of oh, yeah. the most superstitious shit ever. Like guys put the rally caps oh. and they're fucking putting eggs in their socks and oh, growing beards doing. during the playoffs. Right, right? playoffs, shaving their heads together. And yep. it's, you know what it is? They have too much time on their hands. You know, that's what it is, man. Because you got like. <laughs> You know, a nigga could be in the outfield. And you got a good ass pitcher out there, and the mm-hmm. ball's not getting hit. He might be out there for some innings, just thinking yeah, yeah. about what wife he's doing. Making that, you know, and you got to think things. too: when your team is up to bat, there's one person from your team right. at the plate, you're and the then every, in the, and unless no one else is on base, right? You're eating sunflower seeds. And yep. You're sitting there thinking about shit. Yo, what if what if Tommy? <laughs> what if what if yo? I think it's yo. I swear to God, every time Tommy wears those fucking shoes, we lose. Mm-hmm. Well, we gotta talk to him. Right? No more of those shoes. Exactly. You know I mean? the guys then they get into that. Shit. Just think about shit to psych themselves out. Uh huh. You know what I mean? So baseball niggas, get it together. Get some sage. True. <laughs> sage rage. Another person that needs the sage. Man, the Backstreet Boys. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Apparently, Mother Nature mm. said. Fuck that shit. Fuck you. <laughs> Apparently, Mother Nature said F T S S. America. Uh, Mother Nature was like, fuck that shit, son. Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit, son. Fuck that shit, son. Should not have taken me that long to figure that out. S S. Fuck that shit, son. Because you were just trying to decide it was going to do the D or the T for that. Exactly. You know, that's what I wanted. Thank you for covering. Thank you for covering. It's just common mistakes. But apparently, they said nobody died, but. Uh, Backstreet Boys, who still to this day, man, you got to give them credit for the longevity. Still out there. Still packing it in. Spin might not be as hard, but, you know. Exactly. <laughs> hair might be looking like mine. Yeah, I mean, you know what I mean? A couple plug. of his yeah, cats. Yeah, but them niggas got money for hair plugs, though. Yep. You know what I mean? <laughs> Pop them in. What, what state was it? Oklahoma? Uh, Oklahoma. Oklahoma. And um, 14 people got injured. 14, 14 of them niggas. people. Storm came through and just fucked shit up. Yep. I they think said was- the storm came through and they told people, sorry. Concerts canceled. Concerts canceled. Shit's canceled. over. And they said, oh, man. no. They said, Avrap. <laughs> <laughs> so shout out to Stormy Daniels fucking your shit up. Oh, wait, no, that's, that's somebody else. That's somebody else. <laughs> that's somebody else. But yeah, man, uh, it's, <clears throat> you know, not funny. Of course, you don't want people to get hurt. But it's just an odd headline to read where like right. 14 injured at Backstreet Boys concert. We're like, what are they <laughs> like, doing at the like, Backstreet Boys you're concert? You're like 14 injured. At a Meek Mill concert, you're like, oh, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that happens, that happens. <laughs> I get right? that, I get that. The Backstreet Boys, what? Right. Unless it was one of them absurd, crazy, fucking asinine things like the guy in Texas for the country uh, music concert, the fucking shooter. In yeah, the, yeah, yeah. And not shooter Texas, and uh, Vegas, you know? Vegas, yep. Unless it was something like that, then the niggas ain't seeing nobody getting hurt in no, <laughs> no Backstreet Boy concert, man. Like, what? Niggas but yeah, it was apparently like they told everyone to go home and they were just like, nope. Right. There's more odds Not of a happening. Backstreet Boy getting hurt by a, a, a mob of fucking yeah, yeah. teenage girls. <laughs> by people getting <laughs> trampled or something yeah. like that. 
Then fucking. Fans. But yeah, they said I guess part of like the building collapsed and shit, yeah, and things yeah. were uh, debris. Backstreet back was not all right. So did they hide in the back street? I don't. They never <laughs> know. <laughs> shit went down. Where were the back street? In the back street. Shit is wild, man. But once again, if you have any comments, if you want to talk that shit, if you need a little bit of promo, if uh, whatever you want to do, man, hit up this hotline, 203-594-6977. Call or text. Of course, it is free forever. Man, I want to get a bit into a little bit of uh, things that I like, my talk section. Cool. Man, SummerSlam just happened. Big wrestling. Damn. Wrestling is uh, dun, dun. out of control right now. It's really big with... Mm. Um, some superstars that came in. Obviously, Ronda Rousey. Ronda. Is in the WWE now full-time. Last night, she decimated Alexa Bliss. Mm. Um, Got her. Violence. Like, <laughs> Ronda, it's one of those, of course, you know, she's not beating up anybody, right, quote, right. for real. Right, but right. Um, she goes feeling. hard. Yeah, they feel uh, I'll put it that way. Like, I guarantee the people she's going, she's competing against are kind of after like, God. Damn, yeah, Ronda? yeah, it's like you didn't have to be like that because because there's a thing where like you can pick somebody up and body slam them, and right. you can also pick somebody up and fucking slam them. You know what I mean? And, that, and she's on the fucking slam right. them type Listen, thing. Listen, I slam your ass on a bed of pillows. You still gonna feel that? Exactly. Shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, a good hard enough slam on a bed of pillows. You're gonna you'll still be feel disoriented shit. at least, right. but because that's the thing where you man, she just got an extra snap to everything that she does, right. man. When she's fucking tossing these girls around, and, and, and she's uh, got to be getting a lot more money than UFC and and less fucking. And medical problems that are gonna probably happen. You know what I mean? Like, I'm assuming because it's to leave it, and go full time. I would think. I would hope so. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's uh because I don't know how how long of a contract she signed, but if I didn't say it, I'll say it now. Yeah, man, she's the new WWE Raw Women's Champion, nice. and uh, that shit should be. It's gonna bring a lot more mm. eyes to it, man. And uh, I got stock in WWE, so I'm only hoping that that shit goes up. Get you your, know what I mean? Your, get your Bitcoin. Because <laughs> I will say, man, the um. Uh, look at these marijuana stocks real quick. I'm telling talk, you, look into it, man, because I made, I'll tell you straight out, I made $47 today mm. off that stock moving. Talk Tomorrow to I might lose $47. It doesn't matter, but I'm saying in the it future, moves. man, that, that, that's where it's going right gonna now. Go. You but, hop in the pot now, you're going you're gonna to benefit. Bars. You know what I mean? Also, though, Brock Lesnar, out of control. Brock, Brock. Lesnar lost his belt last night, mm. so I think he's making the full time move to UFC now. Is he? I think so, man. Well, he's got a match supposed to be coming up, right? Yeah, uh, Daniel Cormier. Cormier! They're saying at the beginning of the year, though. Okay, okay. It's about time to go train, nigga. But Brock's another one, man. Like, even though it is pre-planned, fake, all that stuff, when Brock's in there, it's violent. You know what I mean? It's a different... (laughs) Right. You know what I mean? Right, You know how Jay-Z gets on tracks? Jay-Z will get on track and lie and be like, it's just different. (laughs) Yeah, but Brock really is just different. When, When he's in there, you're like... Woo. Yeah, you see a couple matches, and you see his, like, no, I, I see. It's a certain kind <laughs> yeah. of a... Uh, that's, that's something else. Yeah, right there's there. another power move there. It's like, yeah, those guys are really feeling it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> another level. Yeah, niggas is getting power-drived, and it's it's real. But another thing WWE is doing in October, which should be interesting, is um, they're doing the first all-women's uh, pay-per-view. Okay. Called yes. Evolution, yes. which should be pretty cool. Because obviously... Diesel now ass that, women jumping around. I like it. Obviously, now that Ronda is champion, she, she'll be most likely headlining it, mm. which should be interesting. But uh, you remember Trish Stratus from back in the day? That name's so familiar. She's yeah. attractive. She's coming back for a match. So, like, I think they're bringing back a lot of ladies from the old. How about Scary Sherry? I think she's dead. I think she's dead. Hey, man, there's a 50-50 chance when you bring up anybody in wrestling that you'd be like, eh, I think they're dead. Is that dead. the original one? Oh, no, it was the right? one. <laughs> Gary, but yeah, man, that, that shit should be interesting because mm. it's the first time they're doing an all women's event, and uh, see how that draws. Maybe Speaking of a, women, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. no I was going to say maybe they have a Mayweather match soon, and you know he ain't doing shit. No, he's definitely <laughs> not doing shit. Uh, speaking of that. Man, if you guys watch Glow, Glow just got uh, Gorgeous Ladies of Wrestling mm. on Netflix. That shit is dope. Wow, uh, that, that was just that got... was a throw. That was a while back. That was out. No, Glow been out for a long time. No, for well, uh, well, Glow was the old old shit. But I'm oh. saying with, with the new, uh, they they just put out the TV series of it. Oh, you know what I mean? Okay, okay, yeah. But that, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That was way back. Glow, the, the uh, yeah, yeah. Glow Okay, I remember that way shit. back. Yeah. And they made it into a TV show, oh, and that's dope. it just got renewed for season three. Nice. So that shit should be dope. That you know, oh, I didn't know keeps that. going, moving on, yeah. moving on, moving on. So what is that one of the shows? Like, what what shows you got rocking with right now, series wise? Hmm. I'm on the new 
Orange is the New Black. I'm trying okay. to finish that up. Yeah, I, 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 haven't, I haven't caught that one even from... Uh, so you went, you went along with the seasons on that one? Yeah, yeah, up yeah. Up to par? Up to snuff? I've been into that. Oh, um, I don't fuck with that one yet. Yeah, definitely check out Orange is the New Black. It's crazy. You know, it's all women in jail. There's some lesbian stuff. There's some fights. People getting cut. People right. getting hurt. Right. Cool story I fuck story with jail lines. time shit. You know what I mean? Good jail movies I like. Jail series. Uh, I fuck with Castle Rock right now. That's I, Stephen King joint. I, I, I got involved. I can't separate it from Fraggle Rock every time I hear it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know I'm show mage right now, but all I can hear is Dana Castle Rock. <laughs> but I wanted to, it's good because I wanted to yeah, check that out. It's man. got some it's got some like, you know, you think about like Stranger Things meets Stephen King kind of shit. You know what I mean? Nice. It's got some nice little twist going on. You know, six uh, episodes in. I got to get this uh, episode six right now. So I'm, I'm rocking with that right now. I, I, I'm watching the one called Snowfall right now, too. That's, um, the, you know, the Coke deal shit, like when crack hit in the 80s. But it's like West Coast based. Okay. Three different stories that at one point they're going to intertwine because they all kind of get, like, Coke from the same guy. All so right. they're all, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll come together. Uh, but See, was, I, I've been wanting to watch Castle Rock because I saw the previews and it looked nuts. But, yeah. Um, I have that problem where I can watch it at work, so I can burn through the shit in like a day, and right. I'm like, I just, I want to, I want to, I want to savor. Right, savor. right, right. So it's give me a, be a little bit of self control in there, right, you know. Yeah, give me a lot. Give me a lot. Yep. You know what I mean? But yeah, that's that's what I'm rocking with. I try to. My, my lady wants me to get into that. She's into that Queen of the South shit. She says that's pretty dope. I've heard about it, but haven't seen it yet. Yeah, same shit. yeah. It's more gangster. She gangster, gangster. Yep. You know. But I'm still having. I get yelled at every time. Like, nigga, you haven't watched Power yet? No, bro. I, I haven't not. watched power and you know i never watched that i know i need to go back and do because it seems like um it's the best thing for white people to ever yell <laughs> i've never seen the wire oh so really? okay you know that white people dude dude <laughs> dude you haven't seen the wire you don't know omar from seen the, the wire? wire i haven't either i lose a black card i have not seen the wire yeah i didn't see the wire i wasn't because that was on like hbo or something right, right or right. showtime it was on one of those and like i never had that growing up so i never saw I think it's on HBO. Yeah, but yeah. Now you get all these fucking fire sticks and shit and show boxes. Yep. And, you know, like, you just watch it anytime, man. Watch it anytime. You yeah. Know? But I, I like That's one I got to get into. Also, if you haven't, I don't think you have Shameless. You just, nah, I've, I've been getting shunned for not checking that gotta one out. Got to get into yeah, Shameless. Shameless yeah. is wild. I heard there's no shame in Shameless, nigga. I heard it's going Bars. some bugged out shit going on, and I, I got to get to know. Yeah, yeah. Shameless is the one, man. Shameless is really, really dope. I'm always trying to catch up with something. You know, I start watching an episode or so, and then I'm like, ah, fuck, I didn't. And then I fall behind. I go I go through a, a rush. Yeah, go, go, <laughs> go. And they're like, oh. Then fall off. <laughs> yep. Then they're like, man, I, I ain't keep up. Now new episodes, new seasons are coming mm -hmm. out. I'm like, man, I'm all fucked up in the game. Niggas want to talk about it around me. Ruining yep. shit. <laughs> I know what you mean. And um, because I'll go through it where, like, if there's like five episodes of it, or excuse me, five seasons of it on Netflix of whatever show it is, I'll watch that. Then it'll start airing on normal TV. I'm lost. I'm right. not, I, I can't do it. Right, wh right. Whatever show it is, no matter how much I like, like it. I, I I know I never got into it. There's a big fan base for that with the uh, Game of Thrones. I never yep. got into the GOT. Uh, Honestly, your best bet now. I think it only has one more season left. Wait till the shit is over, then watch it. Then you know what I mean? Okay. But Game of Thrones is also another one where I'm not saying that you do this because America does this. Mm. Got to put, got to put your phone in the other room. Got to pay attention. It's it's one of it those. It is one of those. You just I, gotta, I tried to watch the first episode. I was I was in a very tired state. I dozed. Yep. I was dozing on it. And I popped up one time. Somebody told me no, that's not the same show. I was like, listen, I remember I was watching this shit and I popped up. And it had to be the first episode, and it was like some weird shit. They were like having sex in the woods, an orgy type. It was some weird shit going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Somebody said, that wasn't that show. I'm like, bro, I know I saw some weird <laughs> shit going on. Whether it was a dream in the yeah, show yeah. or something, but they was doing some freaky shit in the woods. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, Game of Thrones is really dope. I have, uh, only dickheads say this. I'm sorry, but yeah, like I read the books, and mm. uh, it's just dope. Like some, Hold some, on, nigga, you read? <laughs> <laughs> Who's reading? Who's reading? Who reading around here, nigga? <laughs> it's funny because, yo, that that would be something nowadays that's like, this motherfucker over here trying to read. Trying to read, nigga. You better give me a latte and an audio book and get out of my right? face. <laughs> that's what I should have done is uh, done the audio because, man, it's some pretty dense reading to where uh, it's one, you know those books that are small, right. but thick as fuck right, so like right. all the the type is really small and right. it hurts uh, eyes and shit like yeah I mean, yeah this hurts this hurts it was <laughs> like it's they're very good reads but it was it, they're and tough I, reads just because it's so crazy damn because uh i know how to read let me put that out here first Bars. uh but I, i'm just not a big reader you know mm. what i mean i i start going and 
And I was telling my mother when they said, Ma, is something wrong with me? <laughs> like, I read and I drift off. I go, I'll be like, yeah, and I think about some other shit. Like, my yeah, brain, yeah. and I'm like, is that like some, you know, ADD shit? Or, the, you know, she's like, nah, it's just probably just reading some shit you're not interested in. You know? Yeah, yeah. And she's like, if you find something that, you, that pulls you in, you'll be into it. You know, yep. I'm like, oh, I guess so. Because, you know, when you go through it, when I remember, like, in school, most of that shit was all, like, tech shit that you, you're mandated to read. Like, mm -hmm. all right. And then 1675, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You had to read the shit to get information out of it without actually wanting the, in, wanting the information. So I was like, yeah, Truth. I tried that, but that's like, I like to write. I don't like to read. There's something wrong with me. <laughs> yeah, but she, she's right. Like, if you got something that you're interested in, it'll yeah. pull, you in, pull you into the cusp. pull you into it. So what we're saying is that we're going to start a book club here. <laughs> <laughs> Bring books back. <laughs> BBB. <laughs> Watermelon versus pumpkin <laughs> Oh, niggas will appreciate it. I appreciate it. True. You. Drink water, guys. Yeah, man. Definitely mad shows got to catch up on. Mad books. Not enough time. That's what we're saying, man. Basically, not enough time to do as much. You know, we need that 25th hour. 25th hour, which was a weird movie. Bar Supial. <laughs> but yeah, man, this is what it is. Episode 33 of the Watermelon vs. Pumpkin podcast. We appreciate everybody out there mm -hmm. for joining us. Mm -hmm. Once again, hit this hotline. Let us know what's up. 203-594-6977 on this mug. Watermelon vs. Pumpkin.com. WVPshop.com if you want to support, man. Grab some merch. Grab the mug. See grab it. the shirt. Grab the socks. Grab the hats. It's all out there. Discount code of 10% mm. using the discount code of watermelon. watermelon. Let them know what it is. I mean, I'm young, patient, you nigga with the poofy hat. You know what I mean? I just want to let all of you niggas know that I'll always love you. <laughs> you see what I just did? I'm Sorry, done. Sorry, listen. Because <laughs> at the end of the day, my niggas. It's always the beginning of the night. And we love all of you for tuning in and listening and watching this beautiful thing. For you niggas that they can't see, there's a big ass owl as the centerpiece right now. That was what that owl joke was all about for my listeners. Owl yeah, I will always love you, niggas, if you want to. Shout out to my baby. She a big owl fan. Woo! <laughs> Sorry, niggas. Just... Watermelon versus pumpkin, y'all. We out. Later.